Let's not keep you in suspense any longer. Shaza Marty with a season's high of 9.9 .9 on floor exercise. And here's Sarah Finnegan. Ranked ninth in the country on floor, averaging a 9.9. .9. Unlike most on this exercise, she starts the routine in the middle of the mat. Yes, Ashley Claire Kearney choreographs these routines, and a lot of times girls have preferences as to where they want to start on the floor. So that might have been Sarah's personal preference. Very difficult twisting combination pass there. A one and a half step out. You have to keep that power and speed going into the next skill, which is a two and a half twist. A blind landing, so difficult to keep in control. Double tuck, and I don't know if you noticed it, but her legs were glued together from the takeoff all the way through the landing. You've got to have great quick twitch muscles to do this well. I have to say the athletic training staff has done a very good job of getting this team in great shape. I'm so happy that Sarah Finnegan is in the all-around. She's really contributing a lot to this team, and she's been doing a great job as an all-arounder. And coming into this event, she was leading in the all-around competition tonight. Oh. Just looked like she didn't have enough momentum. She kind of undercutted that double pike really hard on that last pass, especially because you're exhausted, your legs are tired. Well, I was about to say how impressed I was with their endurance in meet one and meet two. They looked prepared and ready to go pretty much from top to bottom, especially on floor, which requires so much endurance. But we have to keep in mind, this is the third meet of the season. Sometimes there's a little bit of a letdown. A little bit of fatigue starts to set in now. Then they'll build back up in the, in the future meets.